This is a 10 pack of Art Me Glow in the Dark paint. They are standard two fluid ounce containers. I've received these to review for free. I've seen them for sale um, somewhere between $22 and $18, depending on the coupons and discounts you get. They have not paid me for my review, so my opinions remain my own. And so, unsurprisingly, in the box, you get 10 of these two ounce paint containers. Now, on, and you also get a little card about using tips. Now, on the side of the box, they kind of show the colors, and they also say things like, oh, it's pink purple, or it's white green, white blue. So we have two of these guys that are white paint, but apparently they glow in the dark green or blue when they go to the dark. So the colors of these paints will maybe change a little bit in the dark. Some of them just say things like orange yellow or blue. So apparently they stay sort of similar to the same color, but apparently these two white ones fluoresce in different colors. So using tips, apply at least two thick layers of paint, ideally three plus millimeters. So that's pretty darn thick layers of paint. Um, Charge the color under a direct light source for at least 20 minutes. We recommend use in a dark place to get the best results. Seems reasonable. All right, every place I've seen in the product photos, they use this on black material to show it off better, so I've got a black piece of paper. We're gonna put a big blot to get a nice thick layer. We'll do a smaller line. All right, wet paint out of the uh, containers here. I would call this kind of a pastel color scheme. I think it's because of all the um, glow-in-the-dark pigment that's mixing with the colored pigment. Uh, so we have white green, white blue, green, orange, orange yellow, blue, pink purple, pink, orange red, and yellow. I've put a solid blob at the top and then I've done kind of thick areas here, going down to just a very small smear to kind of get a feel for how thick this needs to be to get various effects. So if you just lay a lot of blobs on here, it takes a long time for that paint to dry. Uh, multiple smaller coats is the recommended method here. I'm going to take this guy outside, leave it in the sun, and let it charge up. All right, this guy's been out here in the sun for about 20 minutes charging up, which should be plenty to uh, make it fluoresce or glow in the dark. All right, so this stuff definitely glows in the dark after you've charged it up in the sunlight. Um, I think the one that is fourth from the right, the purple one, is the most unique color one. A lot of them kind of have kind of the green glow-in-the-dark paint color. Um, and it appears that they're actually getting dimmer. Um, just in the minute or so I've had it in here, out from the sunlight, it seems to be dimming down a bit, so I don't know how long this glow-in-the-dark effect is going to last. I personally can see glowing from the streaks that I've painted down. In the camera viewfinder, it looks like you're only seeing the big blobs of paint at the very top. There is some glow from below that, uh, but I am in a very completely pitch black room here, um, and so it's not impressive amounts of glowing, um, even in the big blobs of paint. All right, I left this guy in the dark for 20 minutes, and it's basically completely discharged. There's almost no light here. If I look really closely with my human eyes that are super high dynamic range, I can see a tiny little bit of glow, but you can't see anything at all in the camera. All right, I got out my ultraviolet flashlight, and that guy charges it up pretty quick. So if you were going to a rave or someplace with black lights, these guys glow and fluoresce very well under black light. So you can see here I just, you know, wiped that over them just a little bit and now they're glowing really brightly even when I turn the light off. So it looks like ultraviolet light charges these guys up very quickly um, and it lasts maybe 5, 10, 15, maybe not quite 20 minutes because after 20 minutes it's gone. So it is starting to fade even visibly now a little. All right, so in summary, these guys are really mostly UV reactive glowing paints, not so much glow for very long in the dark paint. Um, 
there's a lot of yellows and blue greens in here and an orange color. I think the pink purple color is the most interesting under black light, you know, because that does a, a definite purple color and that's very different from a lot of these others. You know, a lot of these orange yellows are just various tones of orange and yellow and the blue greens are all various tones of blue green, but the purple's the one unique one there. Um, all in all, I think this is a limited specialty application. If you're painting something that's going to be under black light, it might be useful. Other than that, hmm, I'm not terribly impressed with them.